Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush. And for this episode, we're actually going to talk about teaching Tilt Brush, or more specifically, learning more. Whether it's about the art, or about the tools, or about Tilt Brush in general, how can you learn more about this so you can get better and better? Obviously, there are some wonderful YouTube tutorials. If you look for one by Shameless Mayhem, I'm sure you'll find a great series called Teaching Tilt Brush to teach you how to use all the tools and things, but it's not the only one. There are a number of good both tutorials on YouTube, in Google, and a few other places, so we're going to talk about some of them. Obviously, YouTube, you're seeing one right here right now. They're also done live on Twitch, so if you search for Tilt Brush on Twitch, most of them will be people creating art, but you'll have a few art lessons there as well. YouTube has some very good tutorials, so we've got our Shameless Mayhem teaching Tilt Brush. Also, look for a few others. Sabby Life, is that A backwards for you guys? That's the A is backwards for you guys. Uh, there we go. Sabby Life is one good example of some great tutorials both on YouTube as well as through their own website as, as well. Uh, we've also got uh, Frib did some several years ago. They're... Uh, I think that's the way it goes. Uh, they're from several years ago, also on YouTube. They only cover the basics, but they are another way to learn more about these tools in another person's style. They're much more of a Bob Ross type of presentation, that type of thing. On YouTube, we also have some artists who aren't necessarily doing teaching, but are doing paintings on YouTube, both live, both recorded full, as well as just uh, time lapse or final pieces. For example, Sabi, again, has some wonderful pieces on the internet. Another one uh, you'll see frequently referred to, Anna Dreambrush, D R E A A M Brush. as another example of an artist doing actual art pieces on YouTube, places to see. There are a few others as well. These are just some of the ones that come up the most, some of the more popular ones. They've got some beautiful pieces. I would also invite anyone who does your own tilt brush artwork to mention yourself down in the comments below. I don't mind turning this comment page into specifically everybody else's resources out there. One of the nice things about Tilt Brush is we can all work together here, so let's all share the information about the artwork you're doing. Another good place to share artwork is there is a Tilt Brush Reddit. So reddit.com slash r slash Tilt Brush is another community where there are a lot of people sharing tips, sharing artwork, and sharing ideas with each other out on the internet. Especially now that we're all keeping a little socially distant, finding other ways to communicate with each other is going to be really helpful for learning more and for getting inspired to do more artwork of your own. Google itself, if you actually go to support.google.com, google.com slash tilt brush is actually a place with a lot of information how to, it's got the release notes, that type of thing. So if you've never been here before, there's some good information you might not encounter other places on how to use Tilt Brush. It's got an article for Quest users, how to get images into your thing, that type of stuff. I'm sorry they haven't added much for the PlayStation users yet, but we're hoping that they're going to add on a whole section for the details that help them as well. If not, here's a place where you can go where you can yell at them to give us more information. Don't forget, we've also got poly.google.com as the ideal place to exchange artwork, change ideas. Poly, you're going to sign in with your Google account. Poly.google.com, there's a song in there somewhere, which is all about sharing artwork, sharing landscapes, sharing set pieces. Not only you're sharing with other people, but you can actually add bring in somebody else's artwork and add your own pieces to it. Then put it out there so you can actually share one piece amongst many people. 
That's one of the best ways to learn how to get better with Tilt Brush is to actually work with other people, see how they do things, and exchange tips on ideas and how to work. So we've got YouTube and Twitch video tutorials as well as Vimeo and other online video sources. We've got websites like Google and Reddit as places to exchange information. Don't forget we've got online places like Discord. There are entire online communities both for Tilt Brush and VR art in general, which are all about, let's get these eyes moved over a little bit, which are all about uh, exchanging ideas, exchanging tips, exchanging artwork so that everybody can get better and enjoy more out of it. So whether you're just taking tutorials to learn the tools, or if you're trying to just get more inspiration for art of your own, there's a lot out there. All of this stuff I'm talking about is on the internet. Most people are doing their computers and stuff connected to the internet, but there are some offline resources as well, just not as many. Since Tilt Brush itself is an electronic media, uh, most of our help sources are going to be media as well. But with places like Discord, we can actually start conversations with other people, and they can exchange ideas that way. So don't be bashful. Get in touch. Talk to other people. Whether you consider yourself an artist or not is completely irrelevant. This is all about the act of creating and the act of sharing. So get out there. Whether you want to tell me in the comments below of some artwork you've done or look for some of these other people out on the internet just to see what they've done and what inspiration you can get. And then we're going to all work together and grow and have fun creating art using these wonderful tools. Thanks for joining us today. I'm going to do our final reminder here to sign up and see what else we do here. We not only do Tilt Brush, but we're doing some other art programs as well. So let us know in the comments if there's things you'd like to learn about, things you'd like to experience more using these types of tools. I hope you've enjoyed this. We've enjoyed doing them. We hope to see the lovely artwork you create. Have fun out there, guys, and have fun with Tilt Brush.